good to be here. Yeah, cool. There's a story that I like to tell. If that starts from an uh, upstart that's a true story. That's the popular stars. And the story is about a Pakistani king. Well, stars said for me a king in Pakistan. And he became very, very wealthy. We feel you are bugs. Because the people loved him so much. You are still back in your field. And he loved the people very much. So we try to meet me like so tall. And one day he thought to himself, what can I do to bless the people? When we are there, we start to sell the door mic. And then he decided what he would do. He would take all of his most valuable possessions and he would put them in front of the castle. And then he would stand in the middle of his things and he would call to the people. And he said this to the people. You've loved me and I love you. You So walk among my things. And whatever you see that delights your eye. And make your heart sing. If you put your arms around it, I'll give it to you. Yeah, he was up like at South Walks, up to a man as he was to the airport. So a man went over and he put his arms around an elephant. No big man's wage, the seer of the Zimbabwean, up like South Walks, up Zimbabwean. And the king gave him the elephant. One day, when he moved up to Zimbabwean. And another woman put her arms around the tapestry. One got six seer bit, uh, up come to the little tapestry. And the king gave it to her. One day, when he moved up to the airport. And the people were taking all of his things. And the king was very, very joyful. And then the poorest boy in the city came to him. And he said, is it true? Whatever I see that delights my eye and makes my heart sing, if I put my arms around you, you'll give it to me. The king said, it's true. The boy said, if he thought about what this means. And the king said, test him. And the king said, test him. Whatever is in the courtyard. You have put your arms around it and see if I give it to you. And the king got a, and the boy got a big smile on his face. And he fell on his knees. And he put his arms around the king's legs. And then the king looked at him. And he began to weep. He said, You're wiser than all the people. Because if you possess me, all that I have is yours. I want to possess Christ. There is a struggle that we have as believers. And it's the greatest struggle that we'll ever have. And Paul talked about the struggle in 1 Corinthians chapter 2. And in verse 2 he said this. And in verse 2 he said this. I had to determine to know Christ among you. Es bija nolēmis, ka jūsu starpā es zināšu un pazīšu tikai Kristu. It's the biggest struggle I've had as a Christian. Tā ir tā vislielākā cīņa, kas man ir kā kristieti. I struggled with the flesh. Es esmu mani cīnījies ar mies. I struggled with the enemy. Es esmu cīnījies ar ienaidniem. I struggled with my mother-in-law. Es cīnījos ar savu sievas māku. I struggled with my mother-in-law. 
Es sind ja so sozial small. We had some struggles with my mother-in-law and I. Mums gibt mir so so bisschen sozial small for money. But the greatest struggle that I had. Wird da das Leben gar sehen, dass man nicht will. Is to preach Christ. Ihr Slogan auf Christ. I was told the day I became a Christian. Man wird da ist, dass das Bild von Christen. That he was all that I needed. Da wird ich ihr wissen, dass man nicht will. And I must have been stupid. Und es war dann wie dir dann durch. Because I believed it. You are something said. But every day since that day. Wird Urstaus dir. People tell me that I need more than Christ. But I still believe that He's all that I need. I was very upset in Brazil. Because I waited three and a half hours to preach. We had a spiritual magic show. A spiritual puppet show. And then we had spiritual acting. We even had spiritual dancing. And we had spiritual videos. And then we had the choir. And we sang the same thing over and over and over. Until I wanted to fall on my pencil and end my life. I can only sing something so many times. And then they told me I could preach. Well, I know something that you know. As did on a couple of years in it. The head cannot take in more than the seat. Frats must be usnyam vaya neka sede kus pasis. So three and a half hours on the seat. That the three supposed stones say what to. Nothing is coming into the head. One vas neka stava na na. So I gave a three minute sermon. I said, all I'm going to do is speak three minutes. So look at your watches. There were two boys fighting in the village. And one boy killed the other boy. And it was the custom of that village. That if you ran to the chief's hut, yeah, to ice cream, leads this side, booty, and you fell in his doorway, or to knock his little sleeve in the shop, you would be safe. That to go for his life, that to go through. And so the boy ran to the chief's house. On that the chief's house could be knocked on ice water, ice cream, that could be this side, booty, so knock his sleeve in the shop, and he fell in the doorway. On the part in front of the door. And the chief came and said, what's happening? The people said, we want his life. <coughs> he was fighting with the boy in the market. And he killed the boy. And the chief said, you know the laws. Anyone who falls in my door. No matter what the crime. He's safe. And then the people said to the chief. But the boy that he killed was your only son. And the chief became despondent. And he looked at the ground for some time. And then he said to the people, Then I will adopt this boy. And he will become my son. And that was the end of my sermon. Because that's what we did. And God adopted us. And he came that we might have life. But he is the one that gives life. 
Bet viņš ir tas, kas dod dzīvību. And the church is a place un baznīca ir tā vieta, where you can get something you can't get anywhere else. Ko jūs varat saņemt kaut ko tā, ko nekur citu jūs nevarat saņemt. We get Christ here. Mēs saņemam Kristu šeit. We get life here. Mēs saņemam dzīvību šeit. There is the swim club. Ir uh, peldēšanas klubs. The soccer club. Uh, Futbēļ klubs. The rowing club. Airēšanas klubs. The tennis club. Tennis klubs. And there's the church club. Un tad ir boznīcas klubs. But it's a club. Bet tas ir klubs. What makes it church? Kas padara boznīcu par boznīcu? Is in your own heart. Ir kas ir jūsu sirdīs. When you come here. Kad jūs nāca šeit to focus on Christ. Lai jūs uz skats būt vērst uz Kristu. And you'll find life and you'll find joy. Un jūs atradīsat priemu un piepildu. An Indian lost the key to his house. Reiz kāds indians bija pazaudējis atslēgu savai mājai. So he started looking for his key under the street light. Un viņš sāk tagad meklēt savu atslēgu zem ielsu. And another neighbor came. Un pienāca kāds kaimiņš pie viņa. And said, what's wrong? Un prasīja viņam, kas tu vārdu. I lost the key to my house. Teiks, es pazaudēju mājas atslēgu. So he started helping. Un viņš sāk viņam palīdzēt viņu meklēt. And then another neighbor came. Un tad pienāca vēl viens kaimiņš. And another neighbor. Un vēl viens. And soon 50 neighbors are looking for the key. Un drīz tagad 50 kaimiņi meklēt to atslēgu. And then one of the men said. Un tad viens no vīriem teica. Exactly where did you lose the key? Un tad viņš vaicāja tam cilvēkam, nu kur tad tieši tu pazaudēji to atslēgu? He said, I lost the key at the house. Es pazaudēju atslēgu tur pie savas mājas. He said, why are you looking here? Bet kāpēc tu jūs šeit tam eklēt pie ugrīt? He said, it's the only place there's any light. Jo te ir vienīgā vieta, kur ir apgaismojums. If you lose something, ja jūs kaut ko esat pazaudēji, go back to the place where you lost it. Aiziet tur, kur jūs esat to pazaudējuši. Go back to where you lost the key. Aiziet tur, kur jūs esat atslēgu pazaudējuši. And where I stopped focusing on Christ. Un tā vieta, kur jūs beidzat savu fokusu likt uz Kristu. We have a very simple message. Mūsu vēst ir ļoti vienkārši. And we're going to say it over and over again. Un mēs to apkārtosim vairākas reizes. Because truth is not preached. Jo patiesība netiek sludināt. Truth is demonstrated. Bet patiesība tiek parādīt. I have problems on this end. Un šīs rokas man ir problēmas. And I have Christ on this end. Un šīs rokas man ir Kristus. And when problems are my focus. Kad es skatos tikai uz savām problēmām. I can't see Christ. Es nevaru redzēt Kristu. And my problems begin to increase. Un mans problēmas sāk vairoties. Because I have a problem with my mate. Man ir problēma ar dzīves biedru. Then I have a problem with bitterness. Tad man ir problēma ar rūptumu. Then I have a problem with anger. Tad ir man ir problēma ar dusmām. Then I have a problem with drawing from people. Un tad ir problēma man mēģināt to cilvēkiem kaut ko izvilt. Then I have a problem with the children. Un tad man ir problēma ar bērniem. And then I begin to hate myself. Un pēc laika es pats sāku sevi ienīst. And the problems increase. Un problēmas vairojās. But when Christ is my focus, bet kā Kristus ir tagad mans uzmanības fokus, the problem is still there. Problēma man joprojām tur paliek. But I'm not overwhelmed by it. Bet tā problēma mani vairs nepārvar. I was in Liberia in the war. Es biju Liberijā, kad viņam notika pilsoņi kāši. And this is the first group that I get to speak to. Un tā ir pirmā grupa, kur es to uzrunāju. 500 women, 500 sievietes, that have all lost one baby. Kas viss ir pazaudējuši kādu bērnu. They were in the market. Viņi bija tirgus laukumā. It is a very narrow gate to the market. Un tur ir tāda ļoti šaura vārta tur. And they started bombing the market. Un viņi sāk bumbot to tirgus laukumā. And the African women carry their babies on their backs. Un apakāju sievietes parasti nes savu bērnu mugurus. So they're trying to get through the gate. Un viņi visi mēģināja tikt pa tiem vārķiem ārā. And they're tearing the babies off of the backs of the other women. Un viņi rāju bērnus nos no citu mugurām. And then they trample the babies. 
Und das Akayam sang in Vers. 500 women. Vier sind serious. All lost a baby. Bis es pass all their souls goes back. What would you say? What would you say? There's obvious things to say. No, if I see Rezam's lips for you is what I've stated. God has your days numbered. Dear on here, you use dear and sky beats. And it's not the fact of death. But now, facts now, the sorry guys. We're all going to die. You'll be in dear and may be submissive. And you won't die until the day he permits it. But you never said, here comes dear stone and who's beer jobs. There's the pain of death. He sobs, because does not go about now. I understand that. Yes, stop going to now. But here's what I have trouble understanding. But my problem, you know, sure. How can God allow me to love someone so much? God deals with them. Why do I not tell God to do what we love? And then rip them out of my life. And talk Israel to a silver, no one sleeps. What's the answer to that? God, the God build the tongue. There is no answer. No one feels. There's only an option. Then the thing I is available. If you never want to be hurt, yeah, you use my cup not all of this big soft now. Then never love. But my cup never even. Because love builds a cross. You are real esteem of who said so a cross. And one day the people you love. On V and D and those yells, those silvers for you meal will hang you on that cross. Fuck our souls will stop cross. It is not true that nails held Jesus to the cross. It was love that held him to the cross. There are obvious things about death. If Asim Redzam's lives for now, that for the first year after a death, a few more God face God knows, it stands on top of me and it crushes me. In the second year of death, on this uh, God, you walk beside death. You stay there now with blocks, and you feel sick all the time. When you see that there's no swimming, so it's like on the third year, this third year, you stand on the pain. You stay there, take a push, so I'm safe. But the pain never goes away. But us, uh, but us, I could have said all those things to those women. As both what I visited, she is lives, past us, they dream serious. But it doesn't help in the middle of the pain. But us, my poor, till I can tell you, it's coming to stop, so we do. And I thought, what am I going to say? No, as go my poor, the life's when you're stop. And then it came to me. We thought, what be our clause? I'll just talk about Jesus. As Runash, we are the because the greatness of a man, your silver body, is not in what he does. No, he is carving your daughter, but what he refuses to do. But no carving cost of us. And what made Christ great? Cost God your Christ to water for all of his refusals. We wish thus no carving shot at us. He refused to proclaim himself. We shot at us, said smooth enough. He refused to crush anyone. Which attacks us God sick no spears. He refused to put out a light. Which attacks us he says God no. He refused to condemn the woman caught in adultery. Which attacks us no so deep to a serious for we get that lowly spark up. And I just started talking about Jesus. When a spirit sought run up for years. And then I noticed something. And that is called for you, by the way. The women were smiling. Because serious sought smiling. There was a lift in their spirit. We thought, what's a lot of we got up? And I said, why are you smiling? And it's been a process. How could you smile? Because I know you're hurting so much. You are sin for you to real stops. And they said, we don't know. And then we said, that's not enough. I said, I do. But the state is sin. Because for a few minutes, your past minutes, Christ is your focus. Christ was being used and when he's your focus, there's a lift in your spirit. It's not a one-time fix. But now we know how to get through the suffering. 
Bet tagad mēs zinām, kā tik tām ciešanām cauri. Jesus collected the man, or uh, Israel collected the man in the wilderness. Kā Izrēla klējot pa tūkstnes, viņa vārst to mamu, kas nāc no zemstīm. If they collected enough for two days, ja viņi bija savākuši pietiekam divām dienām, they became worms. Tā sāk sapot. And Jesus says in John 6, un ja es teicu, Jāņa sestās kā nodaļā, that he's the true man that came down out of heaven. Ka viņš ir tas patiesais cilvēks, kas ir nāks no debesī. The Jesus that you had yesterday, tas Jēzus, kas jums bija vakar, is wormy today. Šodien ir sapūts. People often ask me, cilvēki man bieži prasa, what happened to my joy? Kas notika ar manu prieku? I was so happy when I came to Christ. Es biju tik priecīgs un laimīgs, ka es nācu pie Kristu. I said, I know. Es zinu. But did you come to Christ this morning? Bet, vai jūs nācat pie Kristu šo rīt? Did you come to him this afternoon? Vai jūs nācat pie viņu šo pēcpusdien? I'll tell you a secret. Es jums pateikšu pas noslēpu. To pray without ceasing. Lai jūs varētu lūgt bez pārtraušanas. Is to walk in the awareness of God. Nozīmē, ka jūs staigājiet Dievu apziņā. That he's always around. Ka viņš vienmēr ir ap mani. That he's always near to me. Ka viņš man vienmēr ir tu. That he's as close as the words in my mouth. Ka viņš ir tik tu, kā tie vārdi manā mutē. Now there's one thing that I hate more than anything else. Ir kaut kas tāds, ko es visvairāk vienīstu par visu. A boring me. Sanāksim, lai sapuls, kas ir vienmēr. Have you ever heard a boring sermon? Are you scholars as a gender godlike expedit? And some of us went to Bible school. On that no mums ir bijis Bible skolā. In the seminary, on seminārā. And I was in school almost eight years. On es paldies skolā gan drīz astoņus gadus. My grandfather said to me one day, "Once vēl es tās man vien dien pateic tā, if you need another degree, ja tev ir vajadzīgs vēl viens grāds, Buy a thermometer. No pēc termometer. Nobody can be that stupid. Neviens nevar būt tik dumi. Well, I would sit in class. Es sēdēju klasē. And listen to boring sermons. Un klausījos vienbuļus un garlaicīgi spēlēs. Ah, they were terrible. Viņi bija drausmi. And I would have a temptation. Un man bija tāds, tāds gārdinājums. Take your pencil. Paņem savu zīmu. And fall on it. Un uzkrīt uz tā. So you don't have to hear any more. Like the vairāk nav jāklausās. And you can barely keep your eyes open. Un knap mēs varējam acis vaļā turēt. Then I discovered something worse. Un tad es atklāju vēl kaut ko sliktā. Giving a boring sermon. Tas ir pašam gadlaicīgs prediķot. And I've given a lot of boring sermons. Un es savā laikā esmu dažreiz diezgan vienmuļus prediķus nolasīt. And the worst boring sermon un jūs gadlaicīgākais sprediķus is when your wife comes ir, kad sieva atnāk and she's not encouraging either un sieva arī nav uzbundrinoši. And that doesn't help either. Tas arī neko nelīdz. And then when you speak to a group of pastors un tad, kad jūs uzmanājat kāds mācītāk grupu whatever you say is going to be wrong. Jo vienalga, ko jūs arī nepateikt, tas būs nepareizs. And when you're preaching a boring sermon, un kad jūs prediķojat kādu gadlaicīgu prediķu, you feel yourself shrinking. Jūs jūtat, ka jūs sarūstat. And you keep talking. Un jūs turpinat runāt. And you keep shrinking. Un jūs sarūstat to vairāk un vairāk. And you keep shrinking. Vēl vairāk. And you wish you could crawl away. Un tāds sajūt ir, ka varētu kaut kur aizrāpties. Brother, are they still here? Rāk, ar viņu te vēl joprojām ir. If you hate a boring sermon, jūs nevīkstiet kāds gadlaicīgs prediķus. We don't have to have one. Bet mums nav vajadzīgs tāds. All we have to do is say this. Visu, ko mums jādara jāsaka tā. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here. Svētais gars, tu esi laipni aicināt šeit. Jesus, you're welcome here. Jēs, tu esi laipni aicināt šeit. Father, you're welcome here. Tavs, tu esi laipni aicināt šeit. I did not come here today to hear a man. Es nenācu šodien, lai dzirdētu kādu cilvēku. I came to hear you. Es nācu šodien dzirdētu tavu valsts. Are you doing everything you know to do? 
Vai jūs darat visu to, ko jūs jau zinat? No, nē. So why should I give you more to do? Tātad, kāpēc man būt jums vēl lielāks pienākums? Tad arī vēl vairāk kaut ko. And I would challenge you. Un es jūs tagad būtu izaicināt. To go one day. Pabeidiniet vienu dienu. With that one thought about yourself. Kā pabeidīt veselu dienu, nedomājot par sevi. It's impossible almost. Tas ir gan drīz neiespēja. And I would be depressed if I had to think about you all day. Un es kristu depresijā, ja man katru dienu būtu par jums jādomā. So I don't want to think about you all day. Es negribu par jums domāt katru dienu. I want to think about him all day. Es gribu domāt par viņu tik dienas. You didn't come here to know more. Jūs nenāciet šeit šodien, lai vēl vairāk kaut ko uzzinātu. You came here to have something moved from here. Down to here. Jūs atnāciet šodien, lai notikt tāda kustība no šeienas uz šeienas. Now, I know what I'm saying. Es zinu, ko es saku. But I don't know what people are hearing. Bet es vienmēr nezinu to, ko jūs zinu. That is something the marriage has taught me. Tas ir kaut kas, ko man laulības dzīve iemācījus. I know what I'm saying. Es zinu, ko es saku. But I never know what Betty's hearing. Bet es nekad nezinu, ko Betty zinu. And so I want to be able to say the right things. Now here's the secret. My job today is not to put something in you. How many of you would like to be closer to Jesus? Raise your hand. Keep them up. Because I'm counting all the unbelievers. <laughs> See, I tricked you. <laughs> Where does Christ live? Does he live here? Where does he live? Where does he live? He lives in you. How are you going to get closer to Jesus? See, the enemy has us working for the things that we already have. And in the garden, Adam and Eve wanted to know. And they wanted to create. When God's goal is for you to not know. Bet Dieva mērķis jūsu dzīvē ir, lai jūs nezinātu. And not to create something. Un nevis jūs radīt kaut ko. But to recognize what he's already done. Bet lai jūs jau saprotat un atklājat to, ko viņš jau ir radījis. This is a book of recognition. Šī ir grāmata par atklāsts. So why is the church always trying to create something? Tātad kāpēc baznīts vienmēr mēģin kaut ko radīt? When it's already been done. Kāpēc jau ir izdarīts. You are complete in Christ. Jūs esiet pilnīgi Kristu. You have everything pertaining to life and godliness in Christ. Jums ir viss attiecībā uz dievbīgi dzīvi jūsos jau. I can prove it to you. Un es to jums var pierādīt. When we go for lunch at 12 o'clock. Un kad mēs iesam uz pusdienām 12. I want everyone to go home. Es gribu, lai viss aiziet mājās. And change your clothes. Un mainat savas drēbes. And put on the clothes you wore when you were seven. Un uzvelcēt tās drēbes, ko jūs valkājat septiņu gadu vecumā. And then I'm going to take you to dinner. Un tad es jūs visu uzaicināšu uz vakariņā. And we're going to do some shopping. Un tad mēs iesim iepirkties. And we'll go sing some Christmas carols. Un aiziesim pēc paciedāt tās ziemas vakarīsmas. How comfortable will you be? Cik ēk jūs jūtīsaties tajā drēbes? Will you be comfortable? Vai jūs jūtīsieties ēri? No! Nē! Why? Kāpēc? Because you're not seven anymore. Tāpēc, ka jūs šodien nav septiņu gadu. And the proof that Christ is in you. Un pierādījums, ka Kristus ir jūsos. Is you can't wear the old clothes. Ir, ka jūs tās vecās drēbus vairs nevarat valkā. You can't be bitter. Jūs nevarat vairs būt sarūtināt. You can't be self-centered. Jūs nevarat būt paši centrāt. You can't be full of hatred. Jūs nevarēt būt naiku pilni. You can't go take drugs anymore. Jūs nevarēt pieplietot narkotiklērs. Oh, you can do all those things. Oh, jūs tos visi.
stāstīja es varu darīt, but you'll struggle constantly. Bet jūs jau būs nepārkāpcīgi. Because none of those things are true about you. Jo tās lietas par jums vairs nav patiesīgi. When you have a guest speaker, kad jums ir kāds viesas runātājs, someone like me that comes, kāds kā es, kas tagad tā nāk, go to them at the break, aiziet pie viņa, kad būs pauzi, and say this to them, un pasakiet viņam tā, I have Christ in me, mani ir Kristus, am I your spiritual equal, vai es esmu tavs tev garīgi vienlīdzīgs, and if they say no, un ja viņi jums saka nē, or they hesitate, Vai viņi bišķītiņi, kā saka, aizskatējās. Get your Bible and leave. Paņemēt savu Bible un ejot to. They don't have the revelation. Jo viņiem nav atklāts. My job is not to put Christ into you. Mans pienākums nav jūsos ielikt Kristu. But to reveal the Christ that is already in you. Bet atklāt to Kristu, kas jau ir jūsos. To have a move in faith. Lai jūsos būs tāds, nu, kā saka, atklāsmi darīt. To discover who I really am. Lai jūs atklāt, kas jūs būtībā esat. If God gets all the glory, ja Dievs saņem visu godu, then God does all the work. Tad arī Dievs dar visu darbu. And God gets all the glory. Un Dievs dod visu godu. So He must be doing all the work in our lives. Tā tad. Dievs dara visu darbu mūsu dzīvē. My job is to witness to the Christ in you. Mans pienākums ir liecināt par to Kristu, kas ir jūsos. And when I do that, un kad es to daru, you're going to hear something inside you. Jūs dzirdēsiet kaut ko sevi iekšā. Amen. 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 Because the Christ in you, jo tas Kristus, kas ir jūsos, and the Christ in me, un tas Kristus, kas ir mani, Just had an agreement. Then you get to get the end of the verses. And he said, "Amen." And you suck it, "Amen," because it was true. But that's the dark obvious. I just said something in different words. As the guy got more funny, he said, "Sit in back." But you knew that it was true. But you deny it, the dark obvious. Now sometimes I'll be speaking. Ah, that's why I said to Ronald. And you go, "What?" And you stop. I said, "What?" That can't be right. That's never that cool part. The man's crazy. That's why he's in drugs. Do you know why you have that thought? You said that the topic is going to start blowing up. Because I am crazy. But that's because that's in drugs. Because I did say something that was wrong. You are still stuck because we never is. No teacher is perfect. No be a school of thoughts by Marxi thoughts no feelings. And he allows every teacher to say things. And he will start to ask a couple of school of thoughts by Marxi that come from that part that aren't perfect. Kas nav pilnīgs. For you to see it. Lai jūs to redzētu. And never to follow the man. Un lai jūs nesakot cilvēku. But to follow the man who is being pointed to. Bet lai jūs sakot tam, uz kā viņš rāda. So we're pointing to Christ. Mēs rādam uz Kristu. If you're with me, I say amen all the time. Ja jūs esat ar man, es bieži saka amen. Because everything that can go wrong, Jo viss tas, kas var saiet grīstēt, goes wrong. Pat ir saiet grīstēt. It seems like more things go wrong when I'm with Ilbars. Man liekas, ka vairākas lietas saiet grīstēt, kas esmu kopā ar Ilbars. I don't know what the problem is with Ilbars. Es nezinu, kas tā problēma ar Ilbars. I'll tell you a secret. Es jums pateikšu maz noslēpumu. I cast the demon out of Ilbars. Es reizi izraidīju dēmonu ar Ilbars. And you know what the demon said? Un ziniet, ko tas dēmons man teica? Thank you. It was very difficult living there. So I have problems with Elbars. Many problems with Elbars. So I'm in Africa. I started being in South Africa, and just before I went, I visited a friend. On this film, this is the Brown. So the actor must have Brown. He's an old man, 90 years old. And Joe Betts, we have them in this movie about some time. And we went walking in his garden. And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said, "Pick one of the plums you like." And he said,
But if it's hard, but if you can't see it, it's not right. But now they will help us. And then he asked me a question. And then he asked me a question. He said, do you have problems in your life? Do you have stress in your life? I said, I'm married. I have three children. I'm raising seven more children. I have health problems. Money problems. problems. Travel problems. Problems of cellular. And Hilbars is my friend. <laughs> so I have lots of stress. And the old man said this to me. Here's what stress is. God brings a situation. He permits what he could prevent. Do you agree? He permits what he can prevent. And he permits the situation to drive me to Jesus so I can fight the situation from a place of peace, from a place of hope, from a place of rest, that's why he does it. And he said, what does the word amen mean? What's it mean? What's it mean? So be it. Like tabu. Let it be. Like tabu. Let it push you to God. Say amen. amen. And then fight the problem. And then fight the problem. He said, when you wake up in the morning, and you realize you have no money, before you do anything, say amen. 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 When you go to bed at night, and you're having a fight with your wife, before you go to sleep, and you say it will last, just say amen. Let's get amen. 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 And go to a place of peace. When I say it was near me, before you ever fight the problem. So I was in Africa after this. This be Africa, this this picture house. I wanted out of Africa. When it's going to be in Africa, South Africa. I was in the middle of the war. As the bills were incurred, we do yesterday. And the only white man. On Vienna, got involved as the whites. It was hard to blend with the other people. We do it through the Kazakh idiot, they are fooling. Everybody knew where I was. This is in our mind for the Kazakhs. So finally, I get to leave. No, based on the amount of lives man, man, brought through. I go to the airport. I, 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 I got a line from the police office. The policeman says you can't get out of the car without paying bribes. And policy says that you know that the machine is got out of here. You can use one card for full net order. I said I have a ticket. I said but you want that billion? He said no, I want money. No, no, I said no. Amen. No, amen. I went to the ticket counter. No, I said that I just got the the billion. All the employees came. We want a bribe or you can't have a ticket. I said, I have a ticket. I said, but not a billion. Amen. No, amen. 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 I went to immigration. No, I said, I don't know how to be with us. Amen. 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 I went to customs. No, I said, I don't know how to be with us. Amen. 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 To the police station. And I paid everyone in the police station. And there was an old woman watching all of this. That cleaned the toilets. And I finally got to the waiting room. And I said to the woman, I've got to go to the toilet. I think I'm sick. 
like that uh, guy has some slips. I'm going to explode. And it's still the explosion. I have to go. On Yaya. She said no. And that's net. You have to pay money. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I said, I don't have any money. What about that? No, it's no. I have paid all my money. That's a miss. No, this is the choice. And I took out my pockets. I said, there's no money. You know, see, what are they? My pocket does not cost what I have now. But I'm going to explode. But there's still an explosion. And she put the broom in front of the door. And Felix slowed the door straight shut. And said, you can't go. That's never yet. And she's been watching me pay everyone else. You already know about all the guys we see at Tiffany and some outside. So I said, okay. That's no love. And I started undoing my belt. No, I saw that I'm sorry, I see this house yours. And I'm doing my pants. On the top of the uh, I see Vix. She said, What are you doing? I said, What are you doing? I said, I'm going to the toilet right here. And that's the butt I feel enough, sir. And you're going to have to clean the whole mess up. And I don't suppose she also tell you to restart here. And you know what she said? I was in there for Vintex. Amen. And let me go into the toilet. And why is my up after your ear? Christians get oppressed. Christians get Not because of things that are true. Nede da kasipapius. The things that are true, but not the truth. But Christians get oppressed. Are lietam kasipapius, but kas na papiusi. Not everything that is true. Nebis tas kasipapius is the truth. Ipapiusi. I will be lying to you today. As mellow to you, Shulia. If I said this, yeah, I state, sure. There are people here with no financial problems. They still like trade put in the cards to announce your last problems now. That would be a lie. It's not true. They would not. I'm not obviously. I would be lying if I said there are people here who are not sick. As mellow to you, I'm sure they take and they still like put in our sleep. I would be lying if I said to you there are people that are not struggling in your relationships. As Melo here should state that they still like put it put in no cocoa the uh nano take out the tea not the sea boss. I would be lying to you as Melo of you surely. If I said some of you are not struggling with your children. As you uh if yeah, as you state that they're not still like put in uh no take uh three or something back. I never knew why some animals ate their young. As Liz and I, Kapets died of Zivniak, so it was bad and stuff like that. Until I had teenagers. Kapets Mundi Puso. Now I know. Kapets Ziv. I would be lying to you. As you smell it. Because it's true. You are. By obvious evil. That you're struggling. Can you see me? Yes. That you're hurt. Can you see sobs? That you've been hurt in the past. So fuck off, then you just become sobs. That you don't have money. Can you snow now? That you are in turmoil with relationships. Can you see the results necessary to solve these problems? And the future is uncertain. On that, an awkward and nebulous. Those things are true. That's lies. It's obvious. But they're not the truth. But that's not obvious either. Everything that is true is not the truth. Nebis tas kas it obvious it obvious either. What is the truth? But kas it obvious either. What is Because what the heck is it? Be in the I am the way. Assessment says. I am the truth. Assessment what the assembly. And I am life. On assessment ZV. What is the one thing that's truth? Because it will be in the because it will be in Jesus. Yes. And we should let every true thing in our life. When mom said, yeah, no. Because I will be in the life that I will be in the life. End at the truth. Beg this, the apotheosis. It is true, my son is sick. The apotheosis uh, commands thou slim. But the truth is this. The apotheosis, if God causes all things to work together for good. Dios lea, visam lea tam nach uns parlava. It is true that I'm unemployed. The apotheosis, uh, that says from this dollar. But the truth is, that apotheosis, God knows the plans He has for me. Dear Sid, was plans, was no books, because when you live for eight months, plans for welfare, plan, uh, love, plan, you buy, and not for calamity, or never is forced on. 
to give me a future and a hope, like what one said he went off with. It is true, probably a scene, that hill bars can be very difficult. Ja, hill bars are both not are not good substitutes. But the truth is, he's improving. But, what they say, but you're not so good. 